you must be aware of how challenging it can be to create designs quickly in the current internet centric world where everything moves so quickly but fortunately for you designers today have an abundance of options thanks to the constant development of new tools figma is one such tool for designers that is noteworthy in 2016 dylan field created figma a browser based vector graphics editor that can be used for both ui and ux designing while working with colleagues it seeks to give designers of all skill levels the opportunity to quickly create and prototype their artwork with the help of their fellow members through its api figma aims to open up designs to all users despite the fact that designing is intended to be done collaboratively there are a ton of graphic editors available most of which only permit access to one individual it had become challenging for design heads to manage their respective teams due to a lack of emerging online collaboration technology in designing platforms and that's what figma revolutionized lack of an online collaboration tool compels you and your team to sit and spend hours designing the challenge that figma solves is the inability for you to keep tabs on your peers at any time or place you can examine and edit a design file online with your coworkers using figma just like you can with google drive Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Intellipath. In this video, we will understand what is Figma and how to work with it. Now let's take a look at the agenda. Firstly, we will see what exactly is Figma. After which we will see the power of Figma as a design tool. After which we will see the differences between Figma and Photoshop. Moving on, we will see the advantages and disadvantages. Leading towards the end of this video, we will see the steps to get started with Figma and lastly, a conclusion. Now before we begin please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon for regular updates from us. Now let's get started with our first agenda which is what is Figma. So Figma is a web based program made specially for creating user interfaces that is UI. It was developed in 2015 by a small group of Google engineers who wanted to create a more effective way to collaborate on UI projects. They thought that current tools like Photoshop and Sketch were not flexible enough which infuriated them so they set out to develop something novel that would enable people to complete more tasks more quickly figma which was the outcome went public in 2016 since then it has been used by thousands of expert creators and downloaded millions of times because it provides users with a special combination of features that other software simply lacks its appeal has increased quickly Let's move on to our next agenda which is the power of Figma as a design tool. It operates on all platforms. Any working system that supports a web browser is compatible with Figma. Figma can be used on Macs, Windows laptops, Linux computers and even Chromebooks. It is the only design tool of its kind that can do this and it still allows users to share, open and edit Figma files in locations with hardware running various operating systems. Figma makes collaboration easy and familiar. Teams can work together in Figma just like they would in Google Documents because it is browser based. A round avatar of a user watching or editing a file is displayed at the top of the app. Additionally, each individual has a named cursor, making it simple to see who is doing what. When you click on another person's avatar, you can zoom into whatever they are currently watching. Slack is used by Figma for Teams communications. As a means of contact, Figma makes use of Slack. Any comments or design changes made in Figma are slagged to the team once a Figma channel is established in Slack. The ability to update every other instance where a Figma file is embedded makes this feature essential when designing in real time. The feedback channel is open and changes to a mockup are instantly reviewed whether they are justified or not. Figma sharing is simple and versatile. Additionally, Figma enables permissions-based sharing of any website, frame, or file. A person clicking on a share link for a frame on a page will launch the browser version of Figma and load a zoomed-in image of the frame. Real-time updating is provided by embedded Figma files. Figma provides live embedded code fragments for pasting an iframe in external applications. Figma is excellent for input on design reviews. What role does Figma play in helping the team? Both design and prototyping modes support in-app commenting and the remark thread is monitored via email or Slack. 
When using a third-party tool like Envision or Marvel, getting input from a team does not require publishing PNG files or performing frequent updates. Facilitating employee handoff with Figma. Developers can use Figma to examine code snippets in CSS, iOS, or Android formats on any selected frame or object when looking at a design file. Any developer who can examine a file can inspect the design elements within it. The details can be obtained without the use of a third-party tool. Even so, teams can fully integrate Figma with Zeppelin if they want to do more than just use CSS for display and basic measurement. Product files for Figma are all in one location online. Figma organizes files because it is an online application and does so by presenting tasks and the file associated with them in a separate view. Like Sketch, Figma also permits multiple pages per file, allowing agile teams to methodically arrange their projects. Figma APIs offer collaboration with external tools. Figma now has developer APIs that enable seamless interaction with any web application. This is being used by businesses to incorporate real-time design file displays into their applications. Large screens that show design files live on broadcast can be found all over Uber, for instance. Everyone in the business is welcome to offer feedback and share designs. Let's move on to our next agenda, which is Figma versus Photoshop. Firstly, we'll consider the purpose. Photoshop is a superior option if you intend to edit numerous photographs for your design because it is much more raster-focused than Figma and has more powerful photo editing tools. Professionals use Photoshop to do so in a variety of fields such as digital painting, photography, and graphic design. As a result, there is a lot more online assistance accessible and the majority of developers are familiar with the PSD format. To change a picture, you can simply use Photoshop. Figma, on the other hand, supports real-time cooperation and runs in the browser. In contrast to how Photoshop was modified for this purpose, Figma was built from the ground up to build UI UX. Figma's UI design features set it apart from Photoshop in terms of usability as a consequence. For instance, Figma creates a color pattern for each page or file. If you change one of these colors, it changes the color everywhere. Changes to a button's content may also affect the button's padding and background. Compared to Figma, Photoshop offers a much wider range of export choices, including the ability to quickly alter export quality to reduce file size and choose a color profile. Now let's talk pricing. There are countless lessons in Photoshop, both free and paid. There are many varieties of Photoshop and they're all fairly expensive. As part of the Creative Cloud Photography package, a few are offered for rental. Every month, they range from $9.99 to $19.99. You must pay a subscription charge in order to use the most recent versions of Photoshop. The standalone edition of Photoshop priced at $100 is called Photoshop Elements. On the other hand, there is no cost to use Figma. Subscriptions are optional, but they are not required in order to use them. The free edition also has a ton of features. It also allows for very little cooperation. Lastly, we'll talk about plugins. Numerous extensions for Photoshop are available to add fresh effects, enhance existing functionality, and speed up work processes. Figma offers live mobile trials. They present designs in real time on your smartphone. Figma comes with a number of plugins that let you connect services like Slack and Trello so that you can be informed when users remark on or offer feedback on your designs. In order to facilitate access to assets and code snippets for developers, it can also interact with tools like Zeppelin. Some of these capabilities are available in Photoshop, but the library for plugin is much smaller. Now let's move on to the advantages. Easy website mockup creation. The most apparent benefit of Figma is that no coding experience is necessary. To create your prototype, just drag and drop items onto the canvas. Straightforward user interface. If you've ever attempted to use Photoshop, you may have had trouble navigating the user interface. However, Figma is much simpler to use because adding an object only takes one click. It supports desktop and mobile devices. If you choose Figma, you won't have to worry about compatibility problems. You can quickly access your files from anywhere since it supports both desktop computers and mobile phones. Next advantage is the responsive designs. 
When building a website, you will frequently need to resize page components. This is where responsive designs come in. These components might end up appearing disorganized when viewed on a smaller screen if you are not careful. Because of this, adaptable design or responsive design is crucial. You need not fear though thanks to Figma. Your layout is instantly modified by the program to fit the size of the screen. Multiple platform support Figma works with a variety of operating systems including Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android and Linux. Therefore, there is no need to be concerned about interoperability issues. Next we have quickly exchanging files. Once your project is finished being designed, you can share it right from the browser window. Because of this, sending ideas to customers without first saving them is simple. Templates that can be customized. With Figma, you can alter themes to suit your requirements. To create your own distinctive design, for instance, you can alter the colors, fonts and background. Figma gives you the option to export your work as PDF files. You can print out your drawings and designs and give them to customers in this way. As Figma is cloud-based, you can collaborate with others by sharing your data online. Figma is very simple to learn as compared to Photoshop that some people find very daunting. Within minutes, even novices will be able to use it. Let's now move on to the disadvantages. Firstly, we have lack of version control. Because version control is solely missing, it is difficult to keep track of all the changes that have been made. Limited customization options. Figma has a lot of modification options, but some of them are still missing. You cannot, for example, apply personalized patterns and gradients or shapes. Figma cannot be used offline because it needs an internet link. Just like the majority of desktop programs, you can't do any of the offline tasks because of this. Lack of collaboration features. You must exchange your files online because Figma is incompatible with other programs like Sketch. If you are working with someone who uses a different application, this could be problematic. Prototyping Before actually starting to create something, some people prefer to see what they are creating. Unfortunately, Figma does not support animation or video lessons. The default setting that comes with Figma may not be suitable for everyone because it was mainly created as a tool for prototyping. Restarting the program is necessary occasionally when it freezes or crashes. You should close the program and reopen it later to prevent these situations. View choices Figma's view options need to be improved for casual users so that they are understandable and usable. Usability problems Occasionally, some interface problems are visible. Some of the instruments in Figma are not initially intuitive to find. You may also not be informed of interface changes in some cases, so you must figure out how they function as they are implemented. Text capabilities Figma's text features are missing. The application must allow users to look for text. With that, we'll move on to the hands-on. We'll learn the few basic steps to get started with Figma. Firstly, we have account setup, design file, design assets, and lastly, the basics. So let's move on to the app to see how it works. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll open a new Google tab and type in Figma. This is the website. As you can see, this is how it looks, the dashboard um, online. As you can see, I'm already logged in. The, uh, the part where you create your account, it's very simple. It just takes maximum of 10 seconds. Uh, what I've done here is I've already downloaded Figma. You can do that too. Just type in download Figma and you'll get all the options you need, be it for any platform. As you can see, all the desktop, mobile, everything is there. So I've downloaded it already. And here is something I've created. This is the dashboard, how it looks on the app. Let's go through it. These are all the quick actions you can see on the file, edit, view, object, all that is there. Here you can select the frame section or the slices. You can select the shapes you want for text. It's there. Okay, we'll talk about this prototype and with that we'll understand the dashboard. So as you can see, it says here iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is the prototype that we, as you can see, this says iPhone 13 Pro Max. And if we go to the prototype, you'll see a lot of options here. You can select anything and work on it. Let's go through this design. As you can see, it has a lot of components. This is the toolbox that we added. And the text written there is search. And the first rectangle where search is written, if this is here. And in our prototype, 
iPhone 13 Pro Max, we have a lot of components and all of the components are here. If you change the order of any of these components, the layering will change. These are layers. If I shift it here, this will come above the search bar and we don't want it that way. We'll just put it down. It has to be in the background. Also, let's talk about how we got the shape if we go to design and we've already selected the shape. You can see the curvature here. It will change if I just do this. As you can see, it has sharp corners now. We'll go back to how it was. We'll, let's say, 270. It has curved edges yet again. And all the colors and everything, you can see it right here. The visibility, you can change. Anything you want to with these, the looks and everything, you can be as creative as you want. You can change the visibility here. You can log these. If I just make it hidden, it won't be visible anymore. That works with all the components, as you can see. And that's it for the hands -on. Now that we've seen the basics of Figma, like how the dashboard is and how it works, let's move on to the conclusion. I hope you have gained a clear understanding of Figma, along with its main benefits and drawbacks. Figma is an open-source, team-based software development platform for creating web apps. It has a code editor, a testing utility, and a rich text editor. Even though it has some drawbacks, you can quickly learn Figma by following this tutorial and get started with the basics. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in UI UX design, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in UI UX design strategy. It is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts with more than 10 years of experience. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.